2005 was our first album, Canotic. There was no plan for us to release this as music. It really was more about Andrew and I getting together at his house to purge the Nashville demons out of us. As we started writing, we realized that maybe this would be fun to put out as a record for no other reason than we're making the kind of music that back when people really frequented record stores. If you went into a record store and you heard it playing, you would want to ask, well, who is this playing? That's the only reason we started doing Hammock, to make music for ourselves. So the, the Nashville scene, especially at that time, was really limited to music being more of a, a product than it is about a creative outlet. And that's fine if you're into that, but we aren't. Everybody in this town is trying to write the best lyric in the world, and I've always just loved the idea of organized sound waves hitting you in a way that makes your chest hurt, that gives you a lump in your throat with no words. I just think that that is, that's magic to me. Let's just make music, you know? Not having a linear story going throughout allows people to use this music as more of whatever experience they're having in life, getting messages from people that, hey, my dad died, listen to your music. Hey, my kids were born while I wanted this to be the first sounds. Hey, uh, we did some crazy drugs to your music. We had a meditation time to your music. Man, I listen to this when I'm watching the sunset and it makes me feel more alive. What's so great about it is that there's nothing clogging up their thinking. They can be present to their experience because there's not a narrative running through. I love a great lyric, but the magic of music is that it's, it's almost like you're companioning somebody. A lot of times I will be pulling from my past, from something, someone who passed away or someone that I miss or this kind of sense of loss, this sense of absence. When I'm playing and I'm, and I'm picturing those people, it's creating this resonance that's passing through. And one thing that's universal is that we've all experienced loss. I also think it's really, it's the wow moments, you know? The moments of awe. And I think things are more mysterious when there's not a lyric. I think impermanence is shot through our music. Just this inner longing for what? I don't know. Is it the past? Is it regret? It slows you down enough to, to make you realize that what we have right now is enough. It's kind of astounding what we're living in right now, just in this moment. <laughs> 